today I'm going to show you how to solve systems of linear equations without graphing, which is what we've done up until this point. All right, we've figured out uh, where the two graphs may uh, collide or intersect, and that would be an intersection point, the one solution that they might have. Um, and either of the methods I show you today um, can be done without graphing to figure out the solution. And either can be used at any time, as you can see in the middle there, uh, but sometimes it's easier to use one over the other. So we have these two different uh, versions. We have substitution and we have elimination. Substitution is best used when a variable is already solved for. And elimination is best used when both equations are in standard form. So here are our two examples. So notice uh, with the, the system on the left here, I have a variable that is solved for. They tell me that y equals x minus 4. If y equals x minus 4, I can substitute this in for this y because we're saying that in this system, this is what y equals, and I can substitute that in. So here's what this will turn into, 2x. And it would normally be plus y, but we're saying this is y plus x minus 4 equals 5. Okay. And now we have an equation that we can solve. 2x plus 1x is 3x. And then I have minus 4 here equals 5. I'm trying to solve for x now. Add 4 to both sides. I've got 3x equals 9, so x must equal 3. And if I know that, if x has to be 3, or that means that x equals 3 for a solution, then we can plug this back in to either of these equations and figure out what y would be. So let's take x equals 3 and plug it in there. So I got y equals 3 minus 4, or y equals negative 1. So the point where these two lines would cross, the solution would be 3, negative 1. And you can go back and check, and that should work for both of them. Plug 3 in for x, and you should get negative 1 for y. We know that it works for the bottom one. Um, let's check it real quick. 2 times 3, if x is 3, uh, plus negative 1. Well, th 2 times 3 is 6, plus negative 1 gives me 5. So that's how we do that. That is called substitution. However, if you look over to the right, now we've got something that is definitely uh, not solved for. We don't have a variable that's solved for. We could solve for x. Um, so for instance, I could, um, in the top one here, add 2y to both sides here, and I would have x solved for. Um, but then I would have to plug this in for this x, and do a distributive property, and then solve. So we can always use substitution. Um, but here's what we can do. Um, notice how I have a negative 2y and a plus 2y. They are opposites. If I were to add them together, they would cancel out. You can actually, when we have a system, do that. You can add both equations together. So for instance, I'll just go vertically. 1x plus 5x is 6x. Negative 2y plus 2y is 0. Negative 19 plus 1 is negative 18. So here's what we've got. 6x equals negative 18. So x must equal negative 3. So now I can use my negative 3. And I can plug this into any equation that I want to. Probably, um, let's go to the bottom one. Looks like there's more positive numbers. So if I plug this in here, I get 5 times negative 3. That's negative 15 plus 2y equals 1. All right. So then I would just solve for y in this case to figure out y, or the y coordinate for the solution. So I add 15 to both sides, and I get 2y equals 16, meaning y must equal 8. And our point of intersection, or the solution, would be negative 3, 8. And you can always check that should work for both of them. Plug negative 3 and 8 in for x and y. It should work for both equations. And that's how we can do substitution um, or elimination. 